What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive rank double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off a Series 12 Zygarde team that also features Zacian and Therium Form Thunderous. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by smashing that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, join the community by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So seriously, come on, yo. If that's one of you guys, click that big red subscribe button and help me grow as a content creator. But like I said, today we're rocking out with a Zygarde Series 12 team. And I do not think I use Zygarde on Series 12. I could be mistaken because I have been using a lot of Series 12 teams. So... I do make a lot of videos. I do make a lot of videos, but let's get started here in the top of the corner with Zacian. You guys already know Zacian is top tier in this series. He's really good on pretty much any single team, and he just does work all around. He's got Interpret Sword, Rust Sword as item and ability, and then he's rocking out with a fairly normal moveset of Protect, Iron Head, Play Rough, and Sacred Sword. Next Pokemon is going to be our second restricted Pokemon, and that is going to be Zygarde over here with the Power Construct ability, alongside the Figgy Berry as item. We got Protect, we got Thousand Arrows, we got Thousand Waves, and then we got, last but not least, our setup move, which is Coil. One thing that I would change with this Zygarde is give him a Dragon move. He's Dragon typing, we have no other Dragon Pokemon on the, t on the team. I would love to have this thing rocking a Dragon move. But other than that, cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Middle left is going to be our Focus Sash of Bombastone. And Bombastone is going to be perfect for this team because it can control weather up against Kai Ogre teams or Groudon teams, you know, because they're the two most prominent weather Pokemon. But we have a Bombastone with the Snow Warning. He can trigger Hail and just take weather control away from opposing teams. We got a move set of Protect, Leaf Storm for Seb, Blizzard, which hits 100% of the time in the Hail, and then last but not least, Aurora Veil to set up both Light Screens and Reflect only when the Hail is out. So really, really good move set for this guy. Cannot wait to get him in here and control weather with him. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Do I even have to say anything about this Pokemon? Really, really good at fake out control, uh, special attack, and physical attack drops with parting shot. And then he also has Intimidate for an extra physical attack drop every time he hops into battle. Really great Pokemon all around. We give the safety goggles as his item, and then his two stab hitting moves are going to be Flare Blitz and Darkest Lariat. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Top of Finny, and I always love Top of Finny, but I've been seeing its uh, usage rate kind of drop down ever since Series 12 came in here, but I still really like this Pokemon. We got the uh, Misty Surge's its ability, alongside with the Citrus Berry as an item. Then we're rocking out with Protect, Muddy Water, Nature's Madness, and Heal Pulse to heal ally Pokemon that are standing right next to her. So, really like this Pokemon. I think it's good in a lot of different situations. Cannot wait to bring it into battle. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Theory and Form Thunderous, and this Pokemon is a heavy, heavy special attacker. We got Volt Absorb to actually regain HP if anybody wants to hit us with electric moves. Then we're also rocking the Soul Vest to soak up special attacking shots. We got Thunderbolt, we got E-Web for speed control, Dark Pulse for a coverage move, and Weather Ball to pair well with this Abomasome. So we can go in there, change up weather, or if any other uh, team is rocking weather, we can just use their weather against them with this move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, I don't even have to say it. The rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Zygarde, Zacian, and Thunderous team. Battle number one, coming your guys' way. We're going up against a very heavy meta, Groudon, and Yvelta team that also features Chlorophyll Venusaur, Charizard, and then he has the Incineroar and Regilek. It doesn't get much more meta than that, but how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Abomasnow needs to come into the squad in order for us to access or gain weather control from him, because weather control is going to be a huge factor in this battle. So Abomasnow's probably going to be coming in the back end. I really do like him more so in the back end than anything. Um, who should we lead? We could go Zacian for lead. Zacian's not too bad for lead here. Zacian and Incineroar is not bad. There's a few physical attackers out on the field, but again, I like the Zacian and Incineroar. Or we can go Thunder Incineroar with the Volt Absorb. I do dig that. I'm actually liking that a little bit better. Actually, do I like that a little bit better? I don't know. Hmm. That's my play. That's my play? Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Actually, do I? Not really. We're going to go into Zacian. Zacian is just too good not to bring. We're going to go Zacian, Incineroar, and then Abomasnow and Zygarde in the back end. I like that the best. I think that's our best option here. I think that is our best option. Or maybe we should have just went into Thunderous, Zacian, and then have a Bombasa on the back end with Zygarde. Because I really do like having Thunderous with the Weather Ball. It can do work up against a lot of these Pokemon, such as the Venusaur, the Groudon. Two very, very heavy, prominent Pokemon on this dude's team. So, we'll see how this guy, guy goes into it, and we'll see who his lead is. Who are you leading? Who are you leading? He goes into with Venusaur and Incineroar. So, we get the uh, double Incineroar. He is going to get that uh, Intimidate on him. Oh, which is kind of tough. It's definitely kind of tough. And I wonder what he's going to fly into here. He might hard swap. He, might, he could hard swap Dynamax, which could be scary. Could definitely be scary. He hard swaps and Dynamaxes. But in this case, do I just fake out Behemoth Blade into the Incineroar slot? Or do I just parting shot? I think I just parting shot dip. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with just dipping. 
Because if he does go into the... Uh, Ooh, if he does go into... Ooh, we could go into Fireworks. I say we double down into this slot. I say we double down in this slot. If he swaps, he swaps. We have a Flare Blitz flying and a Behemoth Blade. Because if he swaps, we know he's going to be Dynamax. So Behemoth Blade can do huge damage. Flare Blitz can also do big damage. So there's a Dynamax coming out from him. I, I, th I think he swaps, right? He has to swap. It's an absolute must that he swaps. It's an absolute must that he swaps, right? And I was going to go for the Parting Shot, but I can just hard swap next turn if I really want to. And, and gain speed. But we should be able to get big damage off Venus or by both these shots. Let's see what he does. He does not swap. He just goes straight for the fake out. Ult of Mayan Sinor. I'm cool with that. Maybe he thought I was protecting. Now we get off a big old Behemoth Blade. Even though we're not plus one anymore, we're even on the attack board. This is still double damage and stab. But run it. Run it. Big old damage. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's lovely. That is lovely. He goes for the Max Quake for special defense boost. Um, I think my boy eats this up. Oh, he goes into Incineroar. Incineroar soaks that up all day. That's a lovely little turn for us. We like that turn all day. We like that turn all day. So now I can definitely see a max guard coming out here. Or a hard swap. Um, you know what? I'm just going to party shot onto you. And then I think I just behemoth blade into the slot, right? I'm liking that. We'll, we'll, save, we'll save our Incineroar for the back end. Really, really good. He max guards. That's fine by me. That's why I want the party shot into the Incineroar slot. Behemoth Blade comes out here. We do get blocked. He might be dropping a Flare Blitz onto me. See this dude's play. He goes for the party shot. Okay, and I'm going for the party shot. That's fine. So I could hard swap. Behemoth Blade should still be able to take that thing out, even though we are minus one now. It still should be able to do enough damage to take that thing out, in my opinion. We'll see. And now, go in the ground on. Go in the ground on. Go in the ground on. That would be beautiful. Go in the ground on, because I'm swapping as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. He swaps in the ground on. We're going to be able to get a minus one on a physical attacker, which is great. And then we can swap to a bomb so and just cancel out the weather all the way. And then we can go into nice, lovely uh, blizzards as well. Blizzard's super good because it's going to be 100% hitting in this weather. Alongside with uh, super effective on the both these Pokemon. Mwah. We love this turn. We love this turn a lot. So we're going to go into Bomb Snow. And we're going to get rocking. We are going to get rocking. I knew I had to bring a Bomb Snow. Bomb Snow is just, he's key up against weather teams like Ground on Kyogre. Key. That was a money parting shot. Luckily, his came out first. He won the speed tie, or his incinerator was just faster than mine. But now we say, hey, yo, weather, get out of my face. And we get Rocket from here. Okay, so we have a Focus Sash, though, which is wonderful. I doubt he doubles down into me, right? I doubt he doubles down into me. But Blizzard is going to poke. And we could hard swap here. We could go into Zygarde and just save his ass here, which I'm really thinking of doing. Or we can let our incinerator go down. We could let our Incineroar go down. He might swap into his Incineroar. Hmm. This is his last turn in Dynamax. Do we swap into our Incineroar? I'm, I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. Let's swap into our Incineroar here. We still have our Dynamax. And we're just going to uh, bring our Sassy back. Because he is minus one. They've just been he's they just been doing work on me. With my Incineroar. But I just don't see him doubling down into my, uh, my Abomas now. I really do not see that happening. So I don't mind if my Incineroar goes down here. I just need my Abomasin to get off at least one Blizzard. At least one lovely little Blizzard here. He's going to withdraw. And he's going to go straight into Incineroar here. Okay. It's a cool turn by me. I'm fine with that. He's going to go back into Incineroar. Right? It's got to be Incineroar. Or it's going to be his final Pokemon. It's going to be Incineroar. Yeah. So Incineroar pokes back out here. Intimidates pop. And he might protect the ground on at this point now. He might protect the ground on at this point. Blades is coming out here. Blades. So he does not. My Bomb of Snow has Focus Sash, and that is just going to do no damage onto me. And now we get off a lovely Blizzard that's just going to slap up and do some mean damage. I'm with it. I'm with it. Blizzard pokes here, and now I'm going to bring out Sideguard and probably Dynamax him, right? Look at that damage. Give me some freezes. Throw me some freezes out here. Give me some freezes. No freezes, but Barry's poking. Okay. I see you. I see this dude. Let's get out my Sideguard. Sideguard is an absolute must pull out here. Zygarde, get on out here. Yo, we're playing this one so solid. Solid first battle so far. We're going to pull out our Zygarde. We're going to Dynamax him, and we're going to get rolling out here. Start sending these Max Quake. He has Venusaur, his special attack in the back end. We'll take the special attack boost all, or special defense boost all day. We could coil, but again, that's just not the play. We could set up a Roar Bell, but I just think Posen is start with the Blizzard. It's 100% in play. We're going here. I could go into like a thousand arrows, but again, it's, it's time to Dynamax. It's 100% time to Dynamax. And maybe he's faking out all of my Zygarde slot. But I do think he's going to go into a Bomb of Snow. I do think he's just going to fake out a Bomb of Snow. Try to get rid of him. Maybe if he's rocking Fire Punch. Something along those lines to just get rid of him. 
But we're thriving from there. We have our Zacian, who's going to be faster in the back end. Going to be fast on the field. Unless he swaps ground on here. I feel like that might be his only way out. But I do think we're fine with all these special defense boosts. I think we're thriving. I think we are thriving. But yeah, his only way out of here is going to be yeah, swapping the ground on. So he does end up swapping the ground on. And I'm cool with that. Unless, oh, wait, wait a minute. I didn't even know he has an extra Pokemon. I didn't even know he has Yabelta left. I thought he had three. I thought we took one out. I thought we took one out already. What is going on? <laughs> I totally thought we took one out already. Wow. Never mind then. Never mind. Never mind. Going to be closer than I thought. I thought he only had three Pokemon. I thought he had the Venusaur, the Incineroar, and the Groudon left. Why did I think we took out a Pokemon? Why did I think that? He goes for a fake out cool into the Zygarde slot. That's beautiful. That is lovely. We love that. We love that so much. So Blitz is going to poke here. Yeah, he get off some good old damage on the Yabelta, even though that thing's bulky. Give me a freeze, though. Give me a freeze. No freezes. Incineroar should go down this Max Quake, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get rid of this thing. Let's see. Get him out of here. Cool. Okay, Incineroar drops out. He goes down. Okay, right, beautiful. Um, who's he going to go into from here? I could try to pull off an Aurora Rail, but if he goes back in the ground, it's going to be tough. That is definitely going to be tough. Definitely going to be tough. Hail flying out here. Buffets all around. And I could swap a Bombus now. But we're hoping he goes into Venusaur. We are hoping he goes into Venusaur. And I really want to go into a, an Aurora Veil. But I can't just in case he hard swaps into the ground on and change up weather. Because that would just be a waste of turn. So I think Blizzard just... Yeah, okay. He goes into ground anyway. So Blizzard, we're just going to keep locking it down. Trying to get some, some hits off here. We cannot hit up onto the... That's a, that's a problem for us. We cannot hit up onto the... Uh, what's it called? The Yavelta. We cannot hit up onto the uh, Yavelta with a Max Quake. So Zacian's going to have to be the Pokemon to take him out. That's why I wish we were rocking a Dragon move. But we'll take these special defense boosts all day considering I think it's special attacking. Dang, this one's going to be close. This one's definitely going to be close. Wow, what a long battle. This is a long first battle. We're high up in the match belt here. We're top 3,000 right now. And uh, yeah, we're getting some good battles, which I really, really enjoy. Which I really, really enjoy. But we got to stay hydrated. You guys know the deal? Always got to stay hydrated. And this guy's really struggling to pick his moves right here. Let's see what he does. He goes for a straight fat play. Uh, can we eat that? We can indeed. We can indeed. Blade's going to fly through here. That's totally fine. Obama so dodges. Zygarde's going to take some damage, but that's totally fine. We soaked that up all day. And Obama Snow. Hit the blizzard on your belta. Thank you very much. Please keep the ground on live. We do not. God dang it, man. I want to keep the ground on live just so we get that special defense. Play. But we can't max quake onto that. Uh, We only have max quake. This is why I wish we had a dragon. Move. This is why I wish we were rocking a dragon. Move. We still have Zashi in the back. We have one more turn left here. He does have sun. If he's going to be able to outspeed. I could definitely. Why do I see him put me to sleep, right? I see him putting me to sleep. So, you know what? I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to guard. I do not want him putting me to sleep. I'm going to guard here. I'm guarding. He's going for the sleep powder all day, right? Yep. Yep. The reeds, all that. Yo, Abomaso. Just take out Venusaur. That's all I need you to do. That's all I need you to do. What's he going for? Oblivion Wing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eat this up. Eat this up. Eat this up. Eat this up. Tough news. Real tough news. Okay, so now we're sitting here posing a threat with uh, Zygarde and... Zacian. Who's he gonna put to sleep though? That's a real question. We do have thousand arrows which could hit him. Which could hit this uh which could definitely hit this uh what's it called? This Yavelta. But he's gonna be putting one of my Pokemon to sleep, which is definitely scary. So who do we take out here? Do we take out the Venusaur? I think we double down in the Venusaur slot here. I think we double down in the Venusaur. I think that's our best play. Foul play can do some big damage, but we have to double down into the Venusaur slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have to knock this thing out the air as well. <laughs> so we're just going to go for the uh, the Behemoth Blade, right? Yeah, we, we have to take out Venusaur. The Sleep Powder is just going to do us dirty. So we have Thousand Arrows. This Pokemon are knocked down in the air, and these guys can't flee. So, you know, we're just going to rock into Thousand Arrows and get rolling from there. Sleep Powder. The Sleep Powder. We know one's coming. Hopefully he misses it. Hopefully he misses it. Sleep Powder comes in here. Oh, yes, sir, Zygarde. All day, Zygarde. Behemoth Blade flies through here. That's pretty much GG's. That's GG's, because Foul Play cannot take us out at full HP. We're thriving here. GG's, 1-0 to get this video started. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now, I'm trying to think. If he would have taken us out here, I think we still would have won this battle pretty easy, right? Or put us to sleep. Because, look, Zygarde would be asleep. He would go into Foul Play. I would outspeed and just go for a play rough. Yeah. We won this battle regardless. Regardless if he lands at Sleep Powder or not. Oh, my God. That did a lot of damage. Wow. 
That just dumped Oh, got a crit. Thank you very much, Zygarde. Zygarde just made life easier for us and didn't waste any more time. But there it is. 1-0 for today's video. Let's go back to back in battle number two. That first battle was perfect. Nice, long, drawn-out battle. That was the definition of a solid ranked Pokemon battle. But we're hopping into battle number two. Let's go back to back and get two wins for you guys in today's video. We're going up against a Zacian and Groudon team alongside with another Venusaur. And then he has Torkoal. Two Pokemon to set the job. I think Torkoal's kind of just there in case he's going up against the Trick Room team. And then he also has the uh, Tornadus for Speed Control and Indeedy for Follow Me's and all that good stuff. But uh, who am I leading? Who's Jean's gone? We obviously had to bring Abomasnow again. Abomasnow was MVP, changed up weather, and giving us that uh, that control of the battle and, and making us be able to win. But I kind of want to go into Thunders. I feel like Thunders could be solid. I don't know why. I just really like Thunders. But at the same time, not really. He doesn't have any flying moves. Which could be good. If he had fly moves, we can really rock out of that and take speed control. But Incineroar is solid. I really do like Incineroar here. I do like Sideguard, and I think I'm going to lead both of them. Bring up Bomba Snow. Is this the same squad? I think we're going to go same squad. Which I kind of do not want to go same squad. So you know what? Incineroar, get out of here. <laughs> Incineroar, get out of here. We're going to be bringing uh, Tapu, Finny, or Thunders for lead. I kind of like I like, kind of like the Finny. I kind of like Finny. Alongside with, uh, there we go, Zygarde. We could go Zygarde. Oh, it's Assy. really good. I'm going to leave Zassian, go Abomaso and Zygarde. I'm with it. Let's get top of Finny some loving in here. Even though I would rather bring Incineroar, you guys know, since I'm recording, I like to bring you guys some good content and use every single Pokemon on the team. But who's this dude leading? I'm kind of just more so hoping he's not leading Groudon. Because usually when I'm doing a weather team, I never really like to lead my weather Pokemon unless they have absolutely no way of changing weather. So that's usually how I play it. Let's see who this guy goes into. He does lead. This, this son of a biscuit. This son of a biscuit. So we're just going to hard swap a bomb snow. And I think we're just going to behemoth blade over onto uh, Groudon. Or we could Dynamax. We could Dynamax and hard swap into a bomb snow. Our top of Finny. That ain't too bad. That is not too bad. But the, but the grass is work onto us. I think he's going to Dynamax Venusaur. And I'd rather just get off a of behemoth blade and let him go for blades. Right? If he goes for blades, that's all good. Oh, yeah. Let's swap a Bomb Snow. If he takes out my Zassian here and we get off a Behemoth Blade on a Dynamax Venusaur, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. But let's see what this guy goes into. Let's see what he does. We're changing up weather. We're saying, hey, yo, get on out of here. Get on out of here. So, weather's in our favor now. We still have our Focus Ash, which is lovely. And uh, a Bomb Snow does have Blizzard. Blizzard does work on both these Pokemon. Let's see. Is he Dynamaxing? Beautiful. So, we make a great read there. Zassian outspeeds uh, Groudon. He does outspeed the uh, the Venusaur here too. So Behemoth Blade should go first and we should be able to get it off. Which might be able to kill it or it's going to bring it down to the red. It's going to be close. It really depends on this thing's EVs. If it's HP invested or defense invested, it could be able to eat this up. But I can definitely see it, us taking out one shot. See what he goes into here. Our Behemoth Blade comes out. Like I said, it's going to come out first. Take it out. Get it out of my face, dude. Do it dirty. Do it dirty, dude. Zassian's too good. He's too good. Get it out of here. Oh my, is this thing sashed? This thing's focus sash. Get out of my face, dude. This thing's focus sash. Blades is flying here. Can you eat this up, Zassian, please? Maybe? You can. I love you. I love you, Zassian. I love you. I love you, Zassian. He goes for the Vine Lash. Who are you going into? All that. That's tough. Vine Lash is definitely going to take out both my Pokemon, right? Please don't do me dirty like that. Please. No. Don't, 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 don't take out. I know it's gonna take out my Zassian, but please, Abomaso, eat up. Actually, Abomaso's grass. Oh, but the Buffets take out him. That's cool. I take that all day. Like I said, I'm totally fine. If Zassian can take out the, G uh, the Dynamax Venusaur, I don't mind if he goes down. So, good work, Zassian. That's all we really wanted him there for. So, there's that. Um, does Abomaso take grass damage? I don't think he does. Just not. That is lovely. Okay, uh, Zygarde could come out here, or we could go straight into Finny. Who else does he have? I'm thinking of going into Finny at this point. No droughts out. Save Zygarde for the back end. Finny's really good. Let's see who he rocks into. Let's see who he rocks into. He's going to go into... Bum, 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 indeedy. Indubitably Indeedy. Okay. Uh, Follow Me's could fly all day. They could fly all day. He's going to go uh, Psychic Surge. And don't we change this up? Or does he get it? Yeah, he's going to get the Surge, which is a little whack. That's because Misty Surge is already out on the field. Okay, so he has Surge. Um, I don't want to set up this Aurora Bell, so Aurora Bell could be super good for us. And then we could just go into a uh, a Geyser here. Actually, who's faster? We got to see Speeds first. 
we have C speeds first because we can't have Tapu Finny going first and going for an award bell because we'll just change the weather. Uh, 118 to oh no, no, hate this game. I hate this game. Um, looks like we're going for a blizzard. Looks like we're going for a blizzard here. <laughs> looks like we have to go for a blizzard, right? Or do we say we win the speed tie? We have to just go for a blizzard. We just have to do it. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. Ground's going to outspeed us anyway, so I think we do drop out here. I think we do die here. By Bombastone, at least. And then we have Zygarde in the back end. Maybe I should have saved my Dynamax for Zygarde. Could be good. Could have been good, but I do like a nice little Max Kaiser in the rain. It does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. So if we can set the rain here and just start getting off big damage with our top of Finny, I do like it. I do like that a lot. But follow me might come out here and just uh, start soaking up shots, right? But yeah, there it is. Follow me. Follow me. Bombastone is definitely going to go down here. Maybe he can eat up. Maybe he can dodge the Blades. Blades comes out here, he doesn't dodge. Eat it. He does not eat it. But Tapu Finny soaks up rather well. Rather well. But I really don't see it doing too much damage. We still have the Citrus Berry in the back, which is great. And we're going to pop off a nice, lovely little Max Geyser. So Geyser flies through here, and we chip it up some damage. So we'll go for another Geyser. He's probably going to go for another Follow Me. We're going to bring out our, uh, our Zygarde. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, hit him with a 1,000 Wings. Just so he can't swap out. But he might swap out this turn. Let's see. Then that's side guard, and I could I could coil. Could indeed coil here. Coil could be nice. And I think I am gonna coil. I think I am gonna coil. Get that defense and act and accuracy boost. I'm with it. Let's do it. Let's coil. And let's just go into another geyser. Could change up terrain. But nah, I'm, I'm thriving with this. I'm thriving with the coil and just getting off some damage here. Follow me could poke out of here again. And yeah, it is. So follow me is once again there. And I wonder who's faster, Zygarde or Tabu Finney. I would like to see my Zygarde. Blade's going to fly through here. That's totally fine. We soak up again. Citrus Berry's going to poke. And we get some more HP, which is just lovely. That is just lovely. That is just lovely. So more HP flying through here. And here goes another Geyser. Can this Geyser take out with the Brain Boost? I sure hope it can. That could be amazing. I don't, it's going to be kind of close. Real close, but not enough. Close, but no scar. Cool, going to poke out here. Let's boost some stats all day. So stats are boosting. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Do 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 do. And the vine lash is chipping, dude. We don't like that one bit. He's bound to miss a what's called soon, though. He's definitely bound to miss a uh, miss a what, what is that thing called? The blades soon. But power construct comes out, and we were waiting for that too. We we're waiting for us to drop below half. Now we get the power construct, we get some big old HP back, and we have a coil set up, which is lovely. Which is just dandy, just dandy. So we can go here. We can go into uh. Thousand hours or thousand waves. Does he have flying Pokemon in the back end? Who do we think he has? It's gotta be Zacian, right? It's gotta be Zacian. There's no doubt in my mind it's Zacian. We're gonna go a thousand waves and then we're just gonna pop into a Geyser or Starfall. Hmm. What's our player? I said we just go in the Starfall and we take terrain in our hands, right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nah, let's just, let's, just, let's just keep the Psychic Terrain. Just in case this thing's rocking Quick Attack, we'll roll out with that. Just in case that thing is rolling with Quick Attack, we'll roll out with that. But he's probably going to go into a third follow me. Yep, and he's going to waste out all my Dynamax. Okay, I'm cool with that. Blade shouldn't be able to take out any of my Pokemon. Should be fine. And he hasn't missed a Blade yet. God dang, man. This dude has not missed a Blade yet. Guy's just flying through here. And I really want to heal Pulse with my Zygarde, but we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. Can we take this thing out? They're both going to be about outspeed me, which is going to be tough. We might lose this one. This one's definitely going to come down the wire. Thousand waves fly through here. Uh, send it. Beep. Big old damage. Big old damage. He can no longer escape. And mm, top of Finney's down to 7 or 62. Oh, this is tough news. We lost this one. We 100% lost this one. Zassi can come in here. That's GG's. Plus, I think Blaze can take us both out. Mm. We need, we need, we're going to need Zassi to miss. Oh, it's too... It's Torkoal. It is Torkoal. Wow. It's Tor. So there's a shot. We have a shot here. We have a shot here. We have a shot here. We 1000% have a shot here. What does more damage? Nothing. Neither does more damage. Uh, We have a shot here. We have a shot here. We're going to go into this heal pulse. Or we could go Nature's Madness. I'm going to try to heal up my Zygarde. Dude, he's bound to miss a Blades. There's no way he connects all these Blades. 
He hasn't missed one blade. Can you eat this up, Zygarde? Zygarde, I love you. Zygarde, do him dirty. Do him dirty here, Zygarde. Get some crits. You do you, man. And there's our... Yo, I forgot about our Figgy Berry. Clutch up with the Figgy Berry. Figgy Berry bringing us up high. Do him dirty, yo. Power can chuck Zygarde coming in hot. Take him out. Oh, my lord. So close. We have to be able to eat up this Torkoal shot. Or he has to miss. Burning Jealousy. Don't like that one. Better. I think we won. We can eat up a Blades all day. We can eat up a Blades all day. Is that a clutch Figgy Berry? Is that a clutch Figgy Berry? Or the Coil kind of clutched it with that defense boost? Was that a clutch Figgy Berry? I think that Figgy Berry just won us the battle. He goes into Blades, dude. He hasn't missed up Blades all day. We live on 20. Thousand hours come... Come on, yo. Give it to me. Give it to me. Clutch Figgy Berry. Zygarde Power Construct totally clutched it up. We were just getting... Crazy HP, and we won that battle in the end, which is absolutely amazing. What a set of two battles so far. Now we can hop into our third and look to grab ourselves a perfect record. I can't believe we just won that battle. OP Figgy Berry. That's all I have to say. OP Figgy Berry coming in clutch. I totally forgot about the berry. It popped up, and I was just like, no way. No way. Gave us a ton of HP, enough to eat up another Precipice Blades which we just did, dropped another 1,000 arrows, and won us the battle. But we're hopping into our third, going up against a Kyogre team, which means we have to bring a Bombasto yet again. I'm actually glad we're going up against a bunch of weather teams today, because we get to show off a Bombasto to its fullest potential, which is absolutely amazing. But he could definitely lead the Raichu. I think I'm going to lead Thunders. I feel like Thunders could be such a good lead. Speed Control kind of getting after the battle that way. Plus, we haven't really used him yet. Uh, we're going to lead Thunders alongside with Zacian. Could be good. I do kind of dig Zacian as a lead. I do kind of like... Like Zacian, so Zacian, Abamaso, Zygarde, right? Looking good, looking spiffy. Or just in case he wants to lead the Raichu, we can lead the Zygarde here. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm digging it a lot. I'm definitely digging it a lot. I like it a lot. But we have to watch out for the uh, what's called as well, the Lightning Rod on the Raichu. Gotta watch out for that for sure. Bow show. But if we do go with E Webs. E-Web will still hit the Pokemon next to him. Say he swaps into uh, Raichu. So, that is good. That is definitely good. He's going to lead, I'm guessing, Raichu, right? No, he does not. That is wonderful for us. That is wonderful for us. So, we could just go straight into a Thunderbolt, or we could maybe predict a swap from him. What is my play? We could Coil. We could go into... Hmm. Hmm. I think it could be Policy, or it could be Clade. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I do not know what I really want to do here. Because I'm scared of the swapping from the Raichu. I am honestly scared of it. But you know what? I'm going to say he ain't doing it. I'm saying he's a softie. We're going to drop a nice little bit thousand arrows because, because that thing is flying typing as well. Okay, so he doesn't swap. He's going to drop a rock slide. Thunders is able to eat up. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. And he's not Dynamax, which is great. So I wonder what he's dropping with uh with Lapras here. Thunderbolt flies through here. That's some solid damage. Some solid damage. Thousand Hours is going to fly through here. And can Thousand Hours do enough to Lapras? I don't think it can. Can it? So close. But still, we knocked that thing down to the ground, which is awesome. And he's just going to go for a freeze dry. And ooh. Okay, you go over here. Cool. I'm actually with that so much more. He goes over into my Thunders. I thought he was going to go into my Zygarde. That would have been four times super effective. I'm definitely cool with that. Lapras goes down to life orb damage. Yeah, that's solid. We take out his life orb Pokemon instantly. So that's a really good turn for us. We have to save the Bomba so for the back end. We're going to go Zacian. We are going to go lovely little Zacian. And we could Dynamax our Zygarde. I think we have to Dynamax our Zygarde. Because when I was looking at the summary, my boy didn't have any E or any Dynamax candies. So yeah, anyway, he throws out this guy. I have to Dynamax. We'll Dynamax. We'll drop some Max Quakes. We'll kind of just roll off from there. Right, correct. Sounds sounds wonderful. He probably is rocking Earth Power, so I might. And I know he saw a special attacking, right? I might just protect here. Yeah, I'm thinking just protecting and Dynamaxing and going too quick. Give it to me all day, baby. All day. And we're hoping he has Kyogre in the back, because then I could just swap into my Bombas now. And he's gonna swap now and show us who he has. Let's see. It's gotta be Kyogre, right? Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn comes out here. The Pharaohs. The whole Pharaohs come out here. Pharaoh Ferrothorn's uh He's kind of scary. We do have a Sacred Sword, though, which can work wonders. We do have a Sacred Sword. And I guess he thought we were going into Behemoth Blade, so he swaps there, and he doesn't even bring Kyogre. He doesn't even bring Kyogre. So we can have Weather Control 
and we can rock out from there. And more importantly, the bottom cell has a focus, edge, so he's guaranteed pretty much a turn if it goes down to like a 1v1 situation. Protect comes out here. We're hoping he's Behemoth Blade and onto my Zacian, trying to get some damage off on him. And no, we go straight for a player off. That's gonna trigger Power Construct. So I'm with that. Power Construct and a Max Quake flying. Max Quake might be able to just jump on this, which could be beautiful. Max Quake, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Let's go, Zygarde. Dude, I am thriving in Sword and Shield. I've been playing so well. I love it. I love it. I love it. Special defense boost. Mwah. I'm pretty sure that, uh, what, that, what's it called? It's a special attacking Pokemon. That, uh, what is that thing he called? The Sheer Force. Uh, bu 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 um, I can't even think of his name. Sheer Force Landorus. The, the, the theory informed Landorus. The Lando. The lovely Lando. But dude, Power Construct Boy is just rolling out today. Zygarde's doing wonders. He's working wonders today. He's really working wonders. He's really working some wonders. He's going to throw out his last Pokemon. It is this guy. This little booger. Which he's going to Dynamax here. 100%. But yo, look at that HP. 3, 354 out of 620. God dang. God dang. Uh, what do I do here? I'm going to double down on you. Or do we do we blade? He has to he has to dynamax, right? He has to dynamax him, so you know we might as well blade into the slot and just quake over here. Yeah. Mr. Dynamax. We're just hoping he's not guarding. Now what's just gonna uh, take out the Ferrothorn and maybe predict a guard? But I was just like, dude, he has to dynamax, we might as well post that threat with the Behemoth Blade. I'm the Oh and whoa, what is this? Yo, what is this? <laughs> What is this? Something you never see. I love it though. Oh, Dynamax Ferrothorn. This guy's like, okay, this is my last ditch effort. He, he knew it too. He knew it. He drops an Earth Power. Soak it up all day. Yeah, it's asking all day, yo. All right. First off, Landers, get on out my game. Yo, you're dead. Behemoth Blade's dropping you in one shot. He's dropping you in one shot. So get on out my face. See you later, dude. So good thing he didn't Dynamax him. That was actually a much smarter play. He was just like, okay, last ditch effort. Let's Dynamax Ferrothorn because he knows that he's going to go down there. But I'm actually surprised that that, uh, that Lando was that much faster than me. I'm going to drop a nice little Max Quake here. Give me my special defense boost. And the best part about uh, Ferrothorn Dynamaxing is he can't pest us with Leech Siege and just stall out the map. He cannot do that. Let's see what he goes through from here. He's steel spiking. He just wants that defense boost. And does that eat? No. Okay, so Zassian doesn't eat. We could set up a Roar Bell. It's a crit. Wow. He gets a crit. Uh, what do I do? What's going to be close? Do we have one more Dynamax turn? We do. We should. And he has left it. At least heal him. Oh, God, dude. This is actually kind of scaring me. Actually kind of scaring me. We're going to bring out my boy. Uh, do we set up a Roar Bell? Or do we go into a Blizzard? We do have the Sash, so I think we set up a Roar Bell for a squad. I think we do, because he's just, obviously just going to drop another Steel Spike. Go to Roar Bell. We're going to Quake. It's our only way here. We could start Coiling after this. I could indeed start Coiling after this. Coil could be nice. Coil could definitely be nice. Roar Bell's going to poke here. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And we got Speed. We go for Quake. He's just going to be able to soak up, dude. He might win this one. This Ferrothorn might win. He's so bulky. He's so bulky. <laughs> He's obviously going for another Steel Spike. No doubt in my mind. And who's he going after? Probably. Oh, he goes for a Knuckle. Just for that Knuckle Buckle. Go into Zygra, please. Go into Bombasaur. Yo, Bombasaur soaks. Thank you, Aurora Bell. Aurora Bell soaks. That's good. Because now we can just go into Blizzard. Now we can just go into Blizzard, which will do more damage than, uh, than our Zygra. Because, you know... He has that defense boost and Blizzard's nice little special attacking. And we have a we have a chance of freezing, right? Blizzard has a chance of freezing. So we're looking for a freeze here. This could be a big freeze for us. So do I just go into a coil? I'm kinda looking looking to coil here. I'm gonna coil. I'm gonna coil, I'm gonna blizzard. We're looking for this freeze all day. Give me a freeze, yo. There you go, not bad damage. Go ahead. Iceberg him. Oh, I thought we were gonna iceberg him. Coil comes out, which is great before Firethrone goes, so we'll have this defense boost to roll in with. So, defense boost is going to rack up here. We have defense boost alongside with that roar bell. Yeah, I love it. Can't go wrong with it. Steel spike's flying. Can we eat this up? Yeah, we should be able to eat this up. Look at that. Yes, sir. Coil. I'm going to coil again. I'm going to coil again. I'm going to coil again. I'm going to blizzard. I'm going to coil, blizzard, coil, blizzard, coil, blizzard. If he wants to play stall at Ferrothorn, we'll play stall with Zygarde. We'll do it. Even though I think he's going to start setting up leech seeds, it's definitely an option. 
it's definitely an option but after this next quote we're just gonna start hammering in we're gonna start hammering because he's plus two on defense we have to go plus two on attack you know and plus we're posing big threats with this blizzard we have a chance of freezing and we have a we're doing big damage all around it's 100 percent. it doesn't miss the great calls by us actually going to the coolest blizzard's gonna fly you give me a freeze man just give me a freeze some big damage give it to me coolest poking he's down the red that's ggs that is g to the g's baby all day your boy's picking up another perfect record i've been doing so well in sword and shield and here comes the lead sheets this is what i thought he was gonna do god dang lead sheet now he's gonna protect he's gonna get some hp back blah 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 blah. we already know what's happening but buffets are gonna take out some of his hp which is great so that kind of neglects the leftovers and then lead sheet's gonna poke he's gonna go into protect it's, it's over this guy should just cancel this battle even though lead sheet's nasty look how much hp he gives back lead sheet is one of the best moves in the game and there's our figgy bear again there's our, <laughs> our Biggie Berry again, clutching up. Look how much HP that gives. Over 100. Over 100. Especially with Power Struck the Zygarde, it goes off with like a percentage of your max HP. So Power, Const Power Construct Zygarde has 310, so that's a lot. So we're always going to get a ton of uh, HP back with the Biggie Berry with him, which is why that item is perfect for him. He's going to go with Protect. Again, we, we saw that coming, but a Blizzard will be able to take him out. The good thing we set up the War Bell. War Bell was definitely clutch for us to set up. I feel like Obama's so totally MVPing here. He's just been coming in every single battle, taking weather control, just doing a lot of work. So I guard Obama so just doing work for me today, all day. But if it's gonna fly, dude, look how much HP he's already back up to. That is actually insane. That is actually insane how much HP he gets. What well, does more to my Zygar? Look at that. That's just in Bro. That's just a 38 HP. And look how high he's back up already. Wow. That is nuts. That's just a 38 HP. He just soaked in 38 HP. I swear, yo. If he goes for a protect and he lands it again, I'm going to cry. I think that's, that's like his only way out here. Yeah, see, he went for it, but yo, it failed. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I, I feel like that was his only way out. Blizzard comes through here and just gets the crit. Thank you, Obama Snow. I love you so much. He heard me talking MVP status on him. He's like, I want MVP. I'm taking this thing out. But there it is, yo. Perfect record. Your boy does it yet again. 3-0 for today's video. I absolutely love this team. And the best part about it was it's kind of off meta. We got the Zygarde. We got the Bombasaur, Top of Finny, and Thunders. A lot of Pokemon that you don't really see in the Series 12 ladder. So I'm really glad I got to showcase this team and bring you guys a perfect record with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.